What do you think, Nerdy? Well, since you was reading that and looking at your paper. <laughs> I know. Okay. <laughs> okay, we'll get better. Anyway, you know, I feel like this. You know, he made a wrong. You know what they say? It's the crime is always worse. The cover-up is always worse than the crime. That's true. Right? This man, I don't think anybody would have even known about it or paid it real attention to it if he wouldn't have did what he did trying to uh, subdue the story. Right. Right? And so I'm sitting there going like, I'm not even looking at Ben as a bad person because what white person right. probably don't have some kind of connection to owning slaves? You know, it's a, it's a lot of black people that own slaves. Now, if I was a black person and I found out my family owned slaves, then I'd try to hide that stuff. Oh, you'd be like that girl on uh, In Living Color. What's her name? Whitney. Remember when she found she, out on Whitney? Oh, yeah. It's just like. Yeah. Uh, so that kind of hurt her. So I understand where he was coming from because, you don't being a public figure, you don't want that to. Because that's, that's the type of story that will follow him. And overshadow you. And he does a lot of humanitarian type work and working. Afri- you know, bringing grant money and stuff like that to African regions, even though he could do that kind of stuff here if he really wanted to d- be doing something and give some other people jobs. But, you know, that kind of stuff just hangs over him. But, you know, I watch the show um, sometimes, the Finding Your Roots show, and I've seen him do shows on people like Sally Field and Sting, uh, Martha Stewart. And they reveal some pretty messed up stuff about their past. You know, I mean, Sally Field had ancestors who um, were hung as traitors in the Rel- Revolutionary War and people being exiled into Canada. So it's some bad stuff that can come up. And in light of all of that, really, this doesn't even seem all that deep. It's not really, because the person who looks the worst in this is Ben, I mean, Louis Gates. Remember the brother? He right. was the, he's the Harvard professor. He's the producer of this show. This is editorial uh, integrity at its worst. Now we know how the media can manipulate different uh, stories and, and leave out the truths and facts of particular stories. They do this all the time. This man, I don't understand why he didn't realize he might get caught doing this. Even because it makes him look bad. It does. And even if he found other things that seemed like they would be more interesting, Mm -hmm. just the fact that the question was asked should have made him put it in there, even if it was just a blurb, even if it was just something in passing. Yeah, because especially in this media world today, people are going to find out what's going on. Everybody know that. They're going to find out that that happened. And really, this this shows us that they're going to find out. Because to me, what they're overlooking is – you know, even with all this hoopla around Ben, what they're overlooking is the fact that we ev- we only know this because of the Sony hack, which they blamed on North Korea. But North Korea didn't take all the emails and put them in a searchable archive and put them on WikiLeaks.org where you can just go up and, and you can read all the li- – anybody can read all the linked email. North Korea didn't do that. Yeah, and, and another thing – about this is his mom now they always try to give you balance because they know white people are they're going to feel uncomfortable about slavery mm-hmm. talk and racial talk many of them right unless they racist which we feel you know not many are, you know some people feel a lot of people are i you know i know some pe- white people who are not racist but anyway they, and still feel uncomfortable about talking about racism right, right? so this is an uncomfortable uh, story right so they what they did was they showed how his mom they talked about how his mom was a civil rights worker. Right. She was you know, one she's of the freedom black. riders on right. the bus. And See how they try to get that balance, which but, is good but it, if the it's thing the truth. Of, the thing of it is, it wasn't really balanced because they didn't give the part, the bad part and, and balance. They gave yeah. us all good stuff, which is what Hollywood does That's like a movie. Time, just like a movie. Uh-huh. And we C- think cut about the script. It, cut the cut, script. Oh, no, we don't want this part. We we have to make sure the audience likes this person and and et cetera and, and this, that, and the other. So you have to look at it from Ben's point of view. He's an actor. That's what he's used to. He's used to looking at a script and be like, I don't want my character. To uh, yeah, I don't want to. St- uh, can I get rid of this can, word? Can we, can so we, this was this par thing? for him, huh? That was just par for him. The problem really is with, like you said, Gates and those producers and and everything there. But you know one other thing that kind of tripped me out because you know me, I'm nosy. I went and found that that email 
and oh, you did. Yeah. And the whole email started out with Gates asking um, one of the producers, the one he was talking to, if he would present an award to Harvey Weinstein, who's the co-founder of Miramax. And the answer was, I'd do anything for you except that. Now, why? It, it didn't go into it, but they kind of, you know, their email kind of was like, oh, well, yeah, I've had my run-ins with him too. So it, it makes you wonder, just like you said, why? Why is that such a big deal? He's about to get an award from uh, black filmmakers. And the executive at Sony doesn't want to be involved in presenting the award, but we can, but we're more worried about some somebody who might have owned 25 slaves 200 years ago than somebody who's controlling mind slavery right now. Yeah, really. And so, memo to Ben. Here's what I got to say to you, Ben. You d- you have nothing to feel bad about for something that took place two, three hundred years ago, man. It's okay, brother. Let it go. You you didn't own slaves. Hell, most of the white people at that time didn't even own slaves. It was the rich landowners who owned slaves. But we do know, we did find out, you come from some money, brother. Hey, And that's why you bought that house in Georgia. You bought a house in Savannah. And you try to act like you didn't know that your history, I mean, you didn't know the background of your history. I think you did. And there's nothing wrong with it, man. Let it go, Ben, because we let it go. Peace.